Greetings all and welcome to another video. Today I'll be doing a couple enclosure upgrades and welcoming some very strange new additions. Alright, so first things first, a couple of my funnel webs are in need of some updated accommodation, so let's begin with that. These two are both Hadronicae and Fencer. They are captive bred, I got them in uh, 2019 as very tiny babies. And now they're sort of beginning to outgrow their current enclosures. So I'm going to get them both into these larger containers and I've provided each of them with some rotting wood as well because funnel webs, especially this species, Hadronicae and Fencer, are often quite fond of burrowing into or beneath rotting logs. Without further ado, let's get started. Now, Hadronicae and Fencer is probably the most frequently featured funnel web species on my channel, and that's because it's easily the most widespread and common species in my local area. And seeing as Atrax robustus tends to overwhelmingly hog the spotlight for funnel webs, it doesn't hurt to give some attention to a different species. Now, if you're familiar with my channel and especially with my funnel webs, you'll probably be aware that they don't quite live up to their reputation. Uh, in your pop, go on, in your, oh, oh, you, you, you're gonna make this difficult for me, are you? Okay, fine. Look at that fat ass. Come on, in. Get in the container. Well, that was easy. See what I mean? Funnel webs, like, okay, funnel web spiders are medically significant, they can get defensive at times, so they certainly deserve respect, but at the same time they're nowhere near the hyper-aggressive monsters that people always seem to make them out to be. In fact, they're some of the easiest spiders to work with I've ever kept. Anyway, in your pop little fella. Go on. You know, I've always thought of funnel webs as slow, but after all this time working with huntsmen and centipedes, they just they just seem even slower. Just gonna wander around. Oh you're gonna burrow, okay. Well, you have fun in there. Now time to move on to the second one. Not quite sure where this spider is. Oh, you're making it difficult for me, aren't you? Come on, there's only so long you can play hide and seek with me. You're a big, fat, shiny black spider. You're not hard to miss, and I think I've already seen you. Aha! Not quite visible on camera at the moment, but it's inside this hole here. Oh, hi. Yeah, that's it, champ. You're really showing us how fast and intimidating you are. <laughs> wow. Ah, oh, absolutely terrifying. No sarcasm there whatsoever. Yep. Scariest spider in the world. Here we are. Get in. Get, get in, you idiot. There we go. Okay, enclosure time. This should give you some more room to exercise, but who am I kidding? I don't think you've ever exercised a day in your life. In. There we go. Uh, are you okay there, champ?
Yeah, so when I see people say that they're too scared of coming to Australia because of funnel web spiders, this is why I laugh. Oh yes, that's it. Dig underground, bury your head in shame. Goodbye. Alright, moving on. Time to get out some interesting new additions, and possibly ones that you might be familiar with if you saw my recent field video. So this is quite literally a bucket of slugs. Hi, oh, you really are big and the lighting is terrible. Yep, so these are, well, pff, okay. A <laughs> uh, few seconds in and it's already not going to plan. These are Triboniophorus graphi, the red triangle slug. It's kind of a recurring thing on this channel, but the light just isn't doing their colours justice. They look a lot better in real life than they do on here. So there's three of them here, and uh, uh, a few more in here. Yeah, I might have gotten a little bit carried away when purchasing these. There should actually be 15 in total in here, so uh, the more the merrier, I guess. And also, I had to take this bucket of slugs into work with me today because I couldn't make it home in time. And it was a, uh, it was a conversation starter. Let's just put it that way. This is the enclosure setup at the moment. These slugs, I will be honest, arrived earlier than I uh, would have desired. So I haven't had as much time as I wanted to. They're all going to go into this enclosure for the time being, but I do plan on splitting them up into two or maybe even three enclosures. So, without further ado, I think I'm going to have to start getting them off. And I did say before that these are the largest native terrestrial slug in Australia, and they're certainly pretty big. The annoying thing about slugs is how effectively they can suck onto a surface, especially a smooth one. So getting them off is difficult. In fact, I'm probably going to start with these ones in here, attached to the substrate. Because they are a hell of a lot easier to get out. Okay, in you pop. And I got a lot of leaf litter in here too, which is great because apparently these slugs do like some leaf litter. Hi guys, oh, they're mating! Okay, sorry to interrupt your sexy time. Uh, yeah, okay, well, well <laughs> um, I'll unpack those ones later. Hi. Wait, is that your, are you horny as well? What's that behind your head? Okay, so some of you may know that I have actually tried to keep red triangle slugs a couple times in the past, and I haven't had much success, uh, to the point where I'd actually given up on keeping these, which is a real shame because they're probably my favourite mollusk, and these two are mating too. Oh my god. Okay, so what was I saying? I didn't actually plan on keeping these ever again, but I recently heard of someone who has had success breeding them, and she's been really helpful with advice, so I figured I might as well give these slugs another go. And my god, it seems I don't even have to do anything to get these ones to breed. They're horny as fuck. Yeah, this is a very kid-friendly channel, I know. But I do have to get them into their new box, so sex is gonna have to wait. Well, I got one. In your pop. Really, guys, you're gonna do that now? Go in. Join your friends and have all the sex you want. Oopsies.
Ah, now what do I do with the rest of them? These two are still busy. What about the ones over here? You guys getting it on or are you just resting? Nope, you two are mating as well. Uh, how about this guy? No, you're definitely a virgin. Well, and you. Okay, so as for these slugs, honestly, I think I'm just going to leave them in this container overnight and let them finish the deed because I really don't want to interrupt them. I thought that breeding them might be a bit of a challenge, but they're doing it straight out of the box. I've already had more success than my last couple times keeping them, and it's been a few minutes. Well, that is it for this video. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments section, and if you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe and check out some of my other uploads. Thank you very much for watching. That is it from me. I shall see you again very soon.